Hello, my friends, and welcome to my review video between the Valve Index headset and the Oculus Rift S headset. So, yes, this guy is higher resolution. Yes, higher refresh rate. But I'm actually thinking about returning it. The reason being is these guys. I don't know if you guys could hear it. But you're supposed to set up these guys, at least two of these. You could have up to four of them. And uh, you could probably hear this in the video too. I don't think I'm crazy going on with this. But this thing, the way that it works is that it's constantly being beaming out laser fields into the room to actually check out your position in the room. And one I have mounted up here. But the interesting thing is, after updating the firmware on this, apparently these guys have Bluetooth built in there. After updating the firmware on this bad boy, uh, or maybe even before, this guy turned into a red light or blinking light. Basically, this means it's not working. So my experience could be a little bit marred by the situation of these guys being noisy. But at the same time, why are both noisy and why is that? So what I did was I created this little switch over here and I connected the little power adapter to it too. So I don't know if you hear the difference in the noise. I actually like keeping things quiet in my room. See like this guy, I have to pull out the cord from it. Oh, see? All right, now we have some peace and quiet. I'm gonna tell you about the system that I'm rocking. We got the 3800X PC, 32 gigs of RAM uh, in the NWIN 301 case. I love this case. It's fantastic. And I'm using Noctua fans in there. Right? Look at this beauty. Nice and quiet. Notice it doesn't have any high-pitched noises. This is the 5700 XT, so best uh, AMD video card that's possible for this guy. So... I'm going to continue a review now that I turned this thing off because it was driving me a little bit nuts. These guys were. I don't know why no other reviewer actually talks about these. Put your comments below if you're hearing noises in yours. But I, was, I talked to a friend of mine who has a Vive. And apparently he doesn't hear any noise from them. Maybe he has loud like air conditioning or something. But I can hear it quiet. Because I, I, I try to keep all my PCs nice and quiet. Knock to a fans everywhere. So I'm going to explain the things I like about them. And I guess things I don't like about them. And maybe which one you should go for if you choose to get into the headset. All right. So how is this guy sold to you? This guy is sold to you as being the best of the best. See, it's connected to my PC right now. I was just uh, playing Half-Life Alex. It's a bit of a scary game. I guess this is kind of cool. The controllers like this, they hold onto your hand like this. And they have kind of like a grip sensitivity to them. Yeah, I mean, that's cool and all. But when your um, base station has an issue, uh, you have that. What's nice about these is that you could uh, ch change interpupillary distance. But they don't recommend any specific app for interpupillary distance. I've never have actually measured it. I just keep it in the middle. So this is kind of cool, right? So what this does is it moves these, um, the two lenses from um, closer together and further away from each other. And then there's also this guy that allows you to move the lenses a little bit further away from your eyes, meaning that if you're wearing glasses, it's probably more compatible with those. So that's kind of cool. One of the things you'll notice about this headset is that the box for this guy is twice bigger this one i'm keeping the you know the oculus to rift s this is the box that it comes in look how simple this setup is right you take this cord you go connect the display adapter you connect the usb and you're and, and you're golden these guys use regular i think a batteries you pull this guy off somehow like this so i don't have to show you like this but this is much more simple what I do like about the Rift S tracking system is this. You know, I put this away in the box because I was thinking I might sell it because I have upgraded. 
but now I'm a little bit in a limbo mode. But anyways, what I do like about this guy is that instead of using the stupid lighthouses, it somehow has um, these sensors and it sends out the signal. So this guy is actually a lighthouse, but it's completely quiet. So when you're putting it on, uh, that's the issue. Oh, so it's, it's kind of nice. So this guy gets put on like this. One of the things I noticed though with this guy is that underneath my eyes over here, over here, I would notice with the Rift S, I would notice a marking there. It's pretty much not a big deal. It goes away after a little bit of a while, but um, with uh, this one, the Valve Index, it's a more comfortable headset, I must admit. This little comfy material is nice. Um, the, the headphones on it are nice, but connecting your own headphones, apparently you have to take this guy off and find a headphone jack here too. Let's find it together. Apparently there's a headphone jack here somewhere. I have no idea. It's kind of hidden away. So this guy doesn't allow you to do your own headphones very easily. This guy just has a headphone jack on over here. I think that's kind of nice. So notice we have all the different sensors over here. So in some ways I actually miss this guy because having a few issues with this one and uh, I wrote Valve support about this and they said, oh, update the firmware, right? But the, the funny thing is the updating the firmware was the first thing I actually did. I, there was a firmware update for this guy, for this guy, and for this guy, and for the base stations. So I did all the firmware updates and I have a whiny ass base stations, which makes me not want to keep the system but, uh, you know, I'm going to get it fixed, at least at one of the base stations. I wound up ordering a third one, but it's becoming expensive. Look, this guy with tax is a thousand and change. This guy was with tax like 450 maybe and change, right? And look at this setup, right? This kind of setup, you could throw in your backpack, you know, grab these controllers, throw these guys in your backpack, and you're golden. Right, these guys are pretty cool. I guess you could charge them up with a special USB-C cable you, you're given. But there's no, you, you can't really replace the batteries. Maybe you can. I haven't tried to. But apparently you're supposed to charge them up. These guys, you just put a couple of AA's. And in a long time that I had it, I mean, I might have replaced it once, the battery. So, the, also these controls are pretty comfortable too. You don't have to have the, the crazy, these guys. So, yes, these are definitely bowler status. I like that. I, you know, I wanted to have a better impression so far. But, you know, Valve Support giving me that response. I told them, hey, listen, I, I paid a lot of money for this. You should be, please send out a base station. Here's my address. I need replacements for both. It's not supposed to have the whining noise. You know, I'm planning to make a review about this. Uh, they knew I had a reviewing channel, so now I would actually be recommending that if you want to play a game like Half-Life Alyx, I think that this guy might be the better bet. Also, another reason being like this is, look, this guy is 144 hertz, right? Or okay, it can go up to 144 hertz. This guy goes up to 90 hertz. So a system like that, a 5700 XT can drive this guy much easier than this guy because you have the higher frame rates on this one. So not only is the headset more expensive, if you want probably the best video card to drive this, Linus Tech Tips actually did a video about this. Oh, which ones should I use? He keeps recommending this headset, but he never mentions the issue about the noisy ass uh, base stations. Maybe he has it in his living room, but I have this set up in my living room, in, in my bedroom, basically. You know, I, I work on these computers, right? And I like quiet, you know? That's why that's why I have the Noctua fans. If you want to upgrade your PC, get these Noctua fans. Just everything Noctua. It is absolutely fantastic. Notice how quiet the PC is in idle. You can barely hear it. Yeah, even, even when I'm running it on high... But also the video card is nice too. It's the Sapphire uh, Nitro Plus Edition. Anyways, I'm going back to this point. So what I like about this guy is that the tracking is inside the headset. There's no extra noise. 
After you're done playing the game, you set this guy down and just go relax. <sighs> this guy, let me connect and show you the connecting plug, All right? So it has this little uh, detachable thing, so I guess so that you don't rip things out of the wall, I guess over here, right? But the other things is like this, all right? We got a power adapter. We need a power adapter for this guy. We got the USB cable going there, and we got the DisplayPort cable. This guy, the base station guy, he needs a power adapter. So each one needs a power adapter. It's not connected via USB. The only thing this guy does is stupidly shoots out lasers every direction. Just every five seconds. I don't know, maybe like 60 times a second. Maybe that's why the whining pitch. And apparently they're supposed to be able to see each other. These two guys. I like my life with these guys being much quieter. I like this being like this, you know? Um, this is what it looks like on Steam VR. Oh, there's, oh, bro, it needs to recover. Okay. It's turned off. I, I turned it off, obviously. So, whether to get the Valve Index or the Oculus Rift S. In some ways, you know, I haven't connected this guy back yet because this guy I, I bought first like a month and a half, two months ago. And this guy I just got literally the other day. I started playing with it. I really like the graphics. But the simplicity of this VR headset, I have a feeling that once a Rift S or Oculus, whatever, the company, can make the, these guys a little bit Maybe add $100 to the cost, but do some life improvements to this guy, right? I mean, this headset, obviously the right headset is much more comfortable. Look at the more feeling of the premiumness. This fabric over here is nice. This thing is nice. This thing is nice. Like, uh, the, the, this, I don't know if this is replaced. Oh, this is replaceable probably. Okay, anyways, um, this doesn't um, leave a ring around your eyes. There's no, like... Um, exact i think you can move this guy up and down a little bit here and there but you know you could you could tell like when you set these side by side which one is more expensive but you know what i actually like the controllers on these these actually are pretty comfortable they use standard batteries these guys you got to charge this guy so perhaps for the planet is better we got to save the planet um but also my friend just said, hey, why don't you just buy rechargeable batteries? I'm like, that makes sense. I could always have rechargeable, you know, double A's, whatever this uses over here. I could have rechargeable double A's and I could uh, always change it around like that. But, I mean, I like the simplicity of this. Look, USB display port bong. Here, you got USB display port. Then you also need a separate power adapter to it, which is a separate power brick in, in, your, in your thing. Then these guys have two extra cables for the charging. And then the base stations, each one has its own, um, what is that thing called? Its own little charging cable. I, no, sorry, each, its own uh, power brick. So look, over here, four things all together. Throw this in your backpack. Over here, I, I don't know how much stuff they, they do give you a free microfiber cloth for wiping it down. The headphones are fantastic, but I wish there was like an option like on this guy. Like here, here's what, what, what the builder of the next one could do, right? Right? So this way you don't get sued for patent with this guy, you know, on the, in the index. Just take that headphone jack and put it maybe on the right side instead of the left side. Put it on the bottom or, or the left side. Or maybe put it all the way on the top here. Make it freaking simple. Now, what if a person wants to use their own headset? Um, I think I, I think they should actually take, you know, Valve should take a lesson from these guys and adapt this tracking technology where you don't need base stations anymore because um, that's going to simplify the whole process of these guys. And these guys... I think regards to the battery packs, I think they should take the, you know, what, what cameras have. Cameras have 
you could buy an extra battery and you could have uh, a charger set aside like I have for my Canon. It's a separate charger and then you just unpop the battery, put it in and do it that way. I mean, <sighs> so it, it would be really cool if I could just take the high refresh rate from this guy, put it on this guy, take the no need for base station and put it on this guy and uh, th these are pretty nice i don't know like th the people are ranting and raving but these actually are pretty comfortable too i don't know also i have to say the oculus experience when you have the oculus software installed you um have this kind of like room where you're launching games and programs from and with the steam vr experience yes you could play steam vr games but over here, you have a whole virtual reality store. You just go in there. The apps install very easily. They install very quickly. It's very fun, very intuitive, and very easy to use. Here, you don't need any base stations. Here, you don't need freaking uh, complications. This is a well-designed product. And I guess it was right for them to make it like this, like, you know, minus some of the creature comforts of this one, where they went all, all the way out but by making it more simple, it actually is giving me the recommendation better to get this headset better and don't have that thing like, oh, the cool kids, you know, the, the, the big kids, all these people um, like this, the, this better because this is what all the YouTubers have. Linus Tech Tips has it. Yeah, apparently he, got, he became a better VR gamer with this. I don't know, maybe they sent him a better base station. Maybe his base station doesn't make noise, but unless I get the base station issue fixed, I don't know if I want to keep this guy. But with this guy, it's true and tested, and I actually love this headset. I mean, the, the simplicity is just super amazing. So, the, the one takeaway I guess I want to put, put for you guys is that... Um, I think the Oculus Rift S, based on the price point and based on the no need for the crazier hardware for it, because what might happen with you, kind of like it happened with me, I wound up going on the NVIDIA website and or ordering the 2080 Ti. Why did I do that? It's because this guy has two screens, like something, something, something like by 1600, right? Running at 144 hertz. So based on my monitor experience, if you want the smoothest frame rates, you need the best video card for it. So now all of a sudden your video card becomes over a thousand dollars. With this guy, you're driving 90 Hertz and a slightly lower refresh rate. The 5700 XT is more than enough. So it really depends on how, how much do you want to experience? E even what's his name? Um, PewDiePie, the popular YouTuber, He's been playing with this guy. Perhaps that's a smarter way to do it. You know, I was actually thinking, like, why isn't he playing with the crazy Valve Index big boy thing? Maybe this is just easier to run. It just works out of the box. It's just two set. Plus, this guy wasn't available. I had to set my alarm clock for, like, 1 o'clock, put myself on the waiting list for months. This guy was able to order a new egg for reasonably inexpensive. I think it was, like, 400 and change. Um... This guy, over a thousand. So two and a half times. It depends. Do you want the deluxe experience? Are you okay with the base stations being whiny and noisy? Maybe they're not supposed to be that way. Maybe it's a firmware issue. But I'll have to update a video and maybe give a link below in, um, in a comment. But I want to hear what you guys think. You know, because obviously I'm not the only one that could have been like, Oh, hey, I want to get the VR, VR stuff. But... Right now, in America, at least, worldwide, we're all experiencing some sort of, um, they call it human malware, where uh, the supply chains and, like, um, electronics are harder to get. So that's why one of the reasons I've been, like, thinking is that, hey, if I could get a really good headset right now, who knows, maybe for the next half a year to a year, um, you know, there won't be any updates or it will be just harder to get, more, maybe more expensive. I figured might as well get the best hardware now. But uh, the situation becomes that, look, guys, uh, the Rift S, you're going to be happy with it. I think the simplicity. Um, but, you know, the index is nice, too. 
maybe it's also harder to get but the oculus experience i like i like it a lot actually the oculus software the oculus room um the ease of installation usability with this guy you have to use a St steam vr so steam steam vr is not as you could say beautiful it's not like a place you can hang out um this guy does have some sort of room you can hang out in it has some sort of wall with programs but it feels more like a lobby in a corporate building as opposed to this guy this guy has like a beautiful mountain scenic view that you're overlooking so there's a room you could actually take and rearrange the furniture rearrange the things and launch from there and anytime you press this button over here it shows up the menu the programs are easy to load <sighs> I would say in a lot of ways, the interface is fantastic. So, but I, you have to also understand where the um, Valve guys, when they were creating this game, the, this headset, where, where they were coming from. They were coming from the idea of gamers wanting the best. And I get that. You know, not until did I get this headset did I decide to put, put the order of the 2080 Ti into. And... <laughs> To be able to drive this thing so i'm probably going to keep it around but i don't think i'm selling this guy i think i might keep it around maybe have this as a, like a a simple headset that i could do um also i found the oculus experience pretty cool i think there's a software you could you could um use to be able to use this headset with the oculus software i forget the name of it but i think i saw it somewhere you could probably do a youtube search with it so that might be a worthwhile exploration because the Oculus Lobby, <sighs> I like that experience better. Uh, also, on, on the on the VR, the video player on this one, I actually like better than on this one. This one, I think, is called Skybox VR. Uh, maybe there's a better one, you know, for watching movies and like, uh, you know, 3D videos, things like that. But this guy, you use a, a program called DEO VR, DOVR uh fantastic um so overall that's my experience i hope you found this uh, video enjoyable you know i um you know obviously paid money out of my own pocket to get these things i'm a tech enthusiast i don't know if you could notice by all the hardware in my room like this is my bedroom this is where i you know work live you know enjoy my life and and i've decided to put out this video to maybe help others out there so always be happy with what you have and be thankful for it and be thankful for the great opportunities you're receiving uh, and able to enjoy uh, some of the you know best technology that we have to offer we are living in 2020 we are living in the future the future is now there is lots of possibilities we can take all the potentials it just depends on how you look at it you know a lot of people are saying with the human malware you know economies being shut down but in some ways, I think people are going to be like, hey, I'm working from home. This is fantastic. I'm going to maybe start my own business. I'm going to figure out how to sell online. I'm going to figure out how to de deal with my services and businesses directly to customers. So um, we all could become better of this. Plus, maybe if we have more time hanging out, instead of just playing this, we could also listen to the audio book if we don't have whiny ass uh, <laughs> stations, you know making that noise you know i personally love quiet that computer when i'm not using it i put it to sleep so i don't have any single computer these three screens over here they're connected with a 35 foot fiber optic cable to the other room i kind of pulled off a linus tech tips idea where it just <sighs> there's a cable it just basically runs through the room outside of my room and i have this computer running so anytime i want I have these three screens going. This is more of like my gaming PC, which is for, you know, gaming, VR stuff, and, um, you know, movie watching. And this way, also, what's cool is that this TV is tilted back. I could play on a big 55-inch screen, you know. I think that's kind of fun. I'm enjoying it. So, yeah. So, this is my VR experience, off the cuff, unedited, uncut. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, just give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. All right, my friends. See you soon. Bye.